Okay, so I've skipped a couple of the textbook videos that, or textbook examples that mostly involved um, plotting points, right? I mean, the textbook is essentially giving computer generated graphs, which are done by plotting points, but it's the computer plotting the points. Um, and maybe that's not the best thing for me to do up here by hand on the board. It's not so exciting to watch somebody plot a bunch of points. Of course, eventually we want to be able to figure out how to sketch parametric curves without plotting points, right? There's got to be calculus coming into the picture somehow, but we're still working our way up to that. All right, so this one just asks for a parameterization of a simple curve, parabola, um, but we want a particular choice of parameter. We want the parameter to give us the slope. So we're using slope as a parameter here, right? So we want uh, to define x and y as functions of t uh, where t is going to give us the slope to the curve at any point. Um, it's not uncommon to ask for parameterizations where the parameter represents a certain value. Um, one, of the, one of the things that we, you know, we think about, so of course we want to write, the goal here is to get f x as some function of t. We want to write y as some other function t, say g. Right? So I'm so used to trying to write f of x, no, g of t, right? Um, one of the reasons we like to use t as a parameter, we like to think of t as time. We like to think of parameter curves as describing motion. Um, later on, uh, once we get to talking about things like vector-valued functions, uh, it will have a way of actually understanding, you know, things like velocity in terms of taking the derivatives of these, right? We'll understand velocity in terms of derivatives of parametric equations. Um, and, and so then the, you know, the choice of parameter actually plays a role in you know, generating the points, but also thinking about how you move along the curve, right? One of the examples we skipped um, used um, a different parameterization for the parabola than the one we did in the previous video. And one of the things you find when you plot points is the points are spaced differently depending on the parameter, right? So um, you might move through the curve differently. You're going to get all the same points, but you might kind of get them at different rates depending on how you choose to parameterize. Um, so that's what we're looking at here. Now, of course, uh, we know what dy dx is. dy dx is just 2x. So we want 2x to be our t. Okay. All right. Well, if 2x is equal to t, then it's pretty easy to see what x has to be. x has to be t over 2. Um, and y, well, of course, y is x squared. So y is the square of t over 2. y is just t squared over 4. Okay. So that's the parameterization. t over 2, t squared over 4.